Hello from Nathan23. I'd like to show you our new fully autonomous uh, self-service store. This store we built for Nathan is our smallest store. It has a capacity of three simultaneous customers shopping. Those customers can be uh, shopping together under one card or they can be shopping up to three separate carts. A bigger store, bigger footprint, but have higher capacity for more simultaneous shoppers. This one can handle three. When a customer comes up here, they would choose how they're going to um, authenticate into the store. They can use credit card, debit card, um, Apple Pay, GPay, uh, university card, hotel card, basically anything that would tie that person to the account that they're going to use to pay for that transaction. For this test, I'm going to use our Lova app. I'm going to just scan the QR code at the door, tell the system I'm going to bring in two shoppers with me and enter the store. Door's going to open and let me enter the store. Once in the store, all the product you see on the shelves, on the spears, in the coolers are all tracked using very sensitive way sensors. These sensors are very accurately detect the product within a few grams plus or minus in order to let us know how many units are on the shelf at all times. The store also uses three tracking cameras in the ceiling. These cameras are used to track the people as they shop through the store. They're using uh, data to look at their skeleton and where they're shopping in order to understand when I'm interacting with this segment versus another customer who might be shopping on a separate card. Once I choose a set of products, I can just grab them off the shelf. They're automatically tracked and added to my cart in real time. If I choose to put products back, I can add them back to the shelf and they're automatically removed from my cart just as easily. Even if I put it in the wrong spot, the system chill tracks that that product is removed from my cart and takes off my receipt. If another customer comes and chooses that product, even though it's been misstocked, the system has understood that Snickers have moved from this location to this one and adds it to the customer's cart correctly. The system also uses a uh, Communication with an MDB controller like this coffee maker to understand what product the customer is selecting. So I can walk over here, system identifies who it is who's ordering the coffee, knows that I choose an espresso or a, a coffee, is able to charge me differently based on those selections. This would work with any coffee maker or any other component that uses an MDB controller. When customer is done shopping, they can just walk up to the exit sign, to the checkout area, the system detects who it is who's standing in front of the checkout and shows them their receipt. They can choose to make a change here to add quantity, to even scan an item using the QR code to add it to their uh, cart, or they can just simply say check out. In practice, we see less than a half a percent of customers make any change here. This entire process, from me shopping to inventory counts, all processed locally. We're not sending a lot of data into the cloud in order to make this process. The entire system is handled right here in the store means that this store can operate with as little bandwidth as a cellular card. When I'm done with my transaction, I can choose to either check out through the exit or just walk out. Once me and my whole party has exited the store, the receipt is automatically generated. It can be sent to me via email or I see it in my um, app.